Roots again. Moving the crazy bodies down well. Vidal shoots. Oh my god! Xavier Vidal has found the top corner! What a screamer that is! Welcome to Nywood Lane for this Ryman League Premier Division clash between Bognor and Brentwood Town. Brentwood's relegation was confirmed on Saturday with a 2-2 draw against Met Police, meaning they've now managed just one win in ten games. But striker Alex Teniola has netted five in five during the run-in. Bognor are ending the season on a high. Four wins on the bounce with 17 goals scored and none conceded has helped Jamie Howe's side keep in touch with those above. They've won the last nine home games too and start tonight as favourites. A home win would put the Rocks up to second and assure a home playoff draw. If Bognor are to catch Hampton at the top though, they'll need a convincing win tonight in their final game in hand to push the title, mathematically at least, to the final day on Saturday. Bantic drifts it to the edge of the box and Gandu unmarked. First touch is decent and the second had pace. Tuck joining them now as well. Parsons. But digs that across, Pryor's onto it. It might come for Green still. And Barnes did well to knock it behind. Back in, Rubberford is over the bar. The ball did drift out. Ball there, just over hit from Smith. Normally got excellent distribution. Put the Bogner into a bit of trouble. Uh, Brentwood could be in trouble here if Pryor can get through. Good strength from Pryor, great turn and a great finish. And Jason Pryor gives Bogner the lead here. A dreadful goal defensively from Brentwood's point of view, but didn't Pryor take it well? Well, he scored his 150th goal for Bogner in the last home game here. Jason Pryor adds his 43rd goal of the season in all competitions. The ball long from El Abd. Pryor first used strength, then skill to turn back inside. The left footed finish was calm. 13 minutes gone, Bogner won, Brentwood nil. Bogner sending numbers back. LB though to cross. Elav's head down, comes to Teniola. And it's only just wide. Dan Beck over the Bogner free kick. Floats it in towards the head of Pryor. Gets there first. Good save, Ollie Bowles reacted well. Jason Pryor's header was goal bound. And Gandu again. Bogner with numbers back now. Hand once more into Teniola, who's causing Bogner a few problems. Ball near post, Bantic's there, right off the line. It won't come to Elby. A few Brentwood shouts for a penalty from behind the goal. Given away, poor ball. Rutherford brought in by Parsons. Still Alfie Rutherford will shoot from distance. I think it took a deflection. It did so indeed. It nearly caught out Ollie Bowles, that nick. Rutherford needs some support now. Finds a way to cross in towards Pryor and Teague. It'll come out to Green. Had all the time in the world to think about what he was going to do on the edge of the box. Stuart Green. Chadfield's header. Rutherford picks it up once more. Finding more space now, Alfie Rutherford. Teague brought in in plenty of space. Teague's cross over Pryor. Will come for Tuck. And it was bouncing and looping. White's throw into Green. Harvey White again. Teague couldn't flick it around Freeman. Cleared away by Bantwick. Filled in well again. Up by Rutherford. Pryor couldn't get there. It'll come back for Alfie Rutherford on the left foot. And that was less than a foot or so. Just past the angle of post and crossbar. Alfie Rutherford not far away there. James Crane with a throw down the line into Rutherford. Alfie Rutherford, who went close on occasions in that first half. Drills to the byline, decent ball evades Pryor. Teague smacked into a lab to back to Teague, who scores! And only two minutes into this second half, and Connor Teague with his second goal in two games. Doubles Bogner's lead, and might that kill off this spirited Brentwood performance. Bogner picking the ball up straight back. They won the goals, Connor Teague scored. Simple ball into the box. Teague's effort rebounded off El Abd. Teague calmly left footed into the corner with the second attempt. Bogner 2, Brentwood 0. Strikes it out towards Crane. Just slightly over here. James Crane does keep it in. He'll do well to get there ahead of Milner. Pryor does do so. Options in the middle too. Looking for Crane. Drills it low. Just didn't quite get the power, James Crane. Throw from White into Nilsson. Back to Harvey White again, clever ball. Teague drills it, and it flashes wide at the far post. 
Jason Pryor was on hand at the back post, decided not to try and go for it. Nilsson, Teague to his right. Early ball to Pierce, looking for Nilsson again. That's neat. Into Tuck. Can he find some space? Brings in Pryor. The support's coming. Pryor tried to bend one. He had an awful lot of bend, but it did start an awfully long way wide. Out to Pierce. Three in the centre. Pierce early, looking for Crane. It'll come for a left in the centre. Bowls down to his left. White striding forward, ushering players forward. Nilsson, options on the edge of the box. One of them, Harvey White, into the middle. Shot deflected. It'll come to Tuck. What a save that is. And Bogner have the corner. Credit the goalkeeper there. Bowles with a top, top save down to his left. Freeman driving into the middle. Crosses two. The run comes from our out. And he's not offside. And Brentwood Town have pulled one back. And it's a hammer blow to the goal difference of Bogner. The marking went to pieces in the middle. And Ryan Aral scores. And Bogner asking questions at the back. Brentwood back in it. Simple ball through. Aral was three. And it's a really good finish. Calm finish from the central defender. Bogner two. Brentwood one. White's throw. Needs to get on with it, Harvey White. Into Teague it goes. Can't work the room for a cross yet. Teague looks to turn it to Nilsson. Tries to rig around his man. And the assistants flag up for a free kick. Have Bogner got time to take it? Oli Pierce is getting there quickly. Pierce delivers it in towards Pryor. Decent header down. Nilsson, can he finish it? Nilsson can finish it! Bogner restore their two goal lead. Snorri Nilsson, the substitute with the goal. Well, they got on with the free kick quickly. Credit Oli Pierce for that. Picked the ball up quickly, turned it in quickly. And Nilsson was able to turn and swivel in the middle with a crisp finish. Smith goes long and the final whistle blown. A frantic end to an otherwise relatively frustrating evening for Bogner. Strange to say, they picked up the three points they needed, but they wanted more goals. Jason Pryor opened the scoring. The second was added by substitute Teague. Brentwood got one back late on, and it was looking tight before Snorri Nielsen scored from a potentially controversially awarded free kick. Mathematically, the title race will go to the final day. All the pressure on Hampton, but they have a massive lead over Bogner. The final score here tonight, Bogner Regis Town 3, Brentwood Town 1.